Good morning, friends. <laughs> it is 6.30 a.m., which is maybe not early for you, but it's feeling early for me. Today we are flying from, um, I can't even think. Today we're flying from Nice to Sardinia, Sardinia to Naples, Naples to Malta. Three flights in one day. For like 12 hours. It's the only way I can get down to Malta to meet my sister. Dang it. So, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Please subscribe. Help me get ready for the day. <laughs> and let's do this. Hi, I'm Anna. In March of 2022, I decided to leave Vancouver after almost 10 years of calling the West Coast home in search of a more fulfilling life. Join me as I start my journey traveling through Europe as a digital nomad, discovering new places, living out my foodie dreams, while doing it all on my own. Well, not totally on my own, I have this camera and you watching, so grab a cup of coffee, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and let's catch up on last week's vlog. After spending the last nine days in Nice, France, tasting yummy food, exploring a castle, and enjoying the sunset, while exploring Monaco and Esvelage on a day trip, it was time for a new destination. Let's get some caffeine and get this party started. Also, don't come for me with the nutritional value of this breakfast. It was included with my Airbnb, so I'm gonna take it. I will take the instant coffee, because it's free. Thankfully, all my belongings fit back in my backpack and my carry-on because they need you for this flight. Good morning, folks. It is 7.30 a.m. You can hear the suitcase moving, which means we are on the move. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel because I just dropped my camera on the cement tile. Should have had that full cup of coffee. We're off to the airport. It's a gorgeous morning. Like and subscribe. Let's have a three plane travel day. We made it through security at the Nice airport. It is very busy here and security stopped me for my cutlery set, my plastic knife. They didn't like at first, but it was okay. Which is the first airport out of Calgary, New York, Paris, Madrid that has stopped me for that. So anyway, just waiting to see which gate we're at. It's a beautiful airport and then we're off but also trying to fill up my water bottle somewhere which i haven't found a water fountain yet so we're on the hunt for that we found myself a small corner at the start of the eight area of terminal two we are in and i'm just currently editing my new york vlog number one which hopefully will be uploaded and i'll link it here by the time this video is uploaded we're waiting to see what gate we're at it's 
9.38 a.m. and it says the gates close at 10.15 and that we depart at 10.45. So anytime now would be great. I think I might go use the washroom once or twice because if I go twice, it's just an anxiety superstition thing. And then we'll board the flight. I'm feeling tired today. <laughs> already i'm gonna try and stay really hydrated today if anyone cares to know it's also that time of the month for me and why i include this is because the body already is doing walking things so just to add three flights in jet lag elevation i just know my body's gonna be wonky and to just trust it'll all be okay and to just relax add that into the mix it's fun <laughs> That's the plane we got off of. No, 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 no. All right, we've landed in the Sardinia airport. I had to purchase a different mask. That's why you saw a different mask on the plane before I boarded. I don't know why they require these F2, probably like a K95. And a poor guy, his credit card wasn't working because you can buy them from the vending machine for 250 euro. So I bought him one because that's the Canadian thing to do. And also how brutal you're trying to fly somewhere and the thing that stops you from getting on the flight is a different mask he was kind and asked me where i was from and, and seemed really appreciative and i just feel like karma will come around and will provide me something somewhere i rather see someone not in distress and just help them out for a moment feels good to do it just pay it forward some way somehow be kind be nice say por favor grazie wherever you are por favor eh? working on my italian <laughs> It just really hurts my chin. It's like too tight. Maybe I bought the wrong size. I didn't even notice there were sizes if there was. Um, such a quick flight though. So we're in Sardinia. I'm going to go through security again because I'd rather be on that side. Then we'll grab lunch. Although there's really good looking lunch here right now. And then we fly to Napoli. Alright, we're at the Sardinia airport. I just got pimples everywhere. For lunch, we did a, the only veggie option was a tomato basil mozzarella. The cheese in Europe is just something else. I'm gonna stay in this box. I'm hungry. Probably have one of my protein bars too. And we're on to the next flight. The Sardinia airport does not have free Wi-Fi, so good luck if you're trying to look anything up, but it's really small, most people speak English, <laughs> but I made the mistake of saying we oui instead of si because I've been in France and I'm gonna be in Italy for about six hours today. I just filled up my water bottle. There's also no water fountain, so we just filled up with tap water from the bathroom, which we're gonna assume is okay. And we've got our Lark. My Lark bottle is great because it has a filtering, a UV filter in it, so it's giving me a little confidence that everything will be okay. And this airport is also so humid, so humid. The frizz is happening. I'm feeling sweaty. So that's my cycle, but it's hot in here. I've stripped down to my last layer unless I want to just walk around a sports bra, but I don't think that's gonna happen. We're gonna do a bit of work and in an hour I'll be boarding another flight. It's a small, small
We made it to the Napoli airport and look who I found. Porto. It looks like our flight just got delayed about 40 minutes, so we're gonna go and try and find a quiet corner because it's a busy airport. But for once, my bags didn't get dinged in security. They liked everything inside, so I was smooth sailing and smooth flying and flight number three, and we will be there. I took the kid's backpack, and the kid took the rolly situation. Oh yeah, look at that bicep. We're gonna go find some dinner since our flight is 40 minutes delayed, and I can't do that right now. <laughs> by the time, by the time we get that to our Airbnb, it's gonna be past dinner time. Should we get every night? Oh, it was like the easiest digesting. It was always eggplant like mushrooms and a 11 euro salad. But we're gonna split it because there's nothing else and we don't want to be hangry or panic eating. But vegan options aren't really a thing in Italy. Wow, hour late. Two hours late. Three. Recording. 15 minutes later than we should have taken off. But that's 
All right, we're finally on our flight. It is 15 minutes past when we're supposed to take off, which isn't actually so bad, but I'm thinking it's gonna be about another half an hour until we actually take off. And this is the tightest airplane I've been on so far. This is Ryan Air. I still have my my water bottle here, though. And she's good. There's no basket, though. Hour and a half delayed. We're supposed to take off at 6:05, and it's 7:05, so we probably won't take off for another 20 minutes. I had the wrong time. In my head. We made it to Malta finally. Uh, it's been a long day. We have arrived in Malta at our Airbnb for just this evening. It is quite a different look of an apartment than we're used to and it's kind of got us creeped out, but we're only here for about 12 hours. Let me give you a quick tour. It's been a very long day. Laundry is on the list to still do tonight because there is a washer here, but it is humid as can be. Streets are closed, it's dark out, and I'm really happy I'm traveling with someone right now. We have a super old wooden door that I hope is locked right now. It seems electricity is really expensive here, so everything has a on off switch for the actual outlets. This is a kitchen space. It is fully equipped, yet we're not gonna really use anything. Kindly someone has left us, the host has left us a big bottle of water, so I'm thinking it's not safe to drink the drinking water. And through here, bedroom. It's much different to have brick walls and the bathroom and the washing machine are behind there. I think Malta has different outlets than the rest of Europe. They seem to be the three prong and I just sent home my universal converter because it wasn't working well for my computer or my devices and now I'm super regretting that and not researching it. I thought it was part of the EU so we'll have to charge everything via my computer and hope we have enough battery. They vlog here. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel to keep supporting this travel journey. There's lots to come. We're here for a few days to explore what the island has to offer. Thanks so much for following along and we'll see you in the next one. What does it taste like? I don't.